Hi guys, Ian here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at how I put together some of my most popular Instagram pieces, specifically the ones where I put hand-drawn type over a photo, but keeping that sort of hand-lettered look uh, while using a typeface. Um, in this one we're going to be using the words from Proverbs 31.10, which is, uh, her value is more precious than rubies and pearls. We're going to be jumping onto the computer and using Photoshop for this, and I'm going to go in step by step how to put that together so you have something for a poster or, or social media. So uh, let's get going. Okay, start off with we need the photo, that we're gonna have the backgrounds and what we're gonna put the text over. So if you go to unsplash.com, you can get a load of free, really high quality images. Um, I did a search for um, woman, and this is a cool one here by Ravi uh, Roshan. So download that one and then you want to then paste it into your Photoshop document. I've cropped this a bit. Uh, and next you need a font. I'm using my own one. This is called uh, Northern Soul. Uh, it's a hand-drawn typeface and sort of caps and uh, script and works really well over this type of image. Um, but there's lots more out there if you want to choose a different one. Uh, so, so what we want to do to start off with is uh, create a new folder. This is where all our text is going to go in. Uh, we want to do a solid color um, overlay to that folder of white. So we can control all the color of the text that's going in there. Uh, and then first of all, we just want to put in all the type that we're going to be using in this uh, image and then we're going to arrange it within her head. Okay, now we've got all those all our texts that we want to put onto the um, image. Uh, it's best we don't need the um, uh, mask that's attached to that solid layer, so we can just leave that clear up it. What we want to do is lock that layer. What will that do is that then we can then, if we hold down the command key, we can select um, each of the text. If we don't have that locked, it will just select that top color um, and just get annoying. So now we're going to just resize the text to make it fit in. We're going to use uh, on a few of these bits we're going to use uh, an arc uh, which you'll get to by doing so for um, well let's lay out the text first and then I'll show you how to do the arc so we want to put more emphasis on certain words so like value Um, so to arc, I don't want to arc it a bit so it goes sort of slightly curves a bit as it gets towards the edge of our head. So you select all the, select all the uh, letters and up here we've got a T and a curve underneath it. Click on that, it will bring up the warp text uh, box. So style we want to change to arc. We don't want it to be very, because uh, that looks a bit weird if it's really exaggerated. So we just want to take it down a bit. So even just to sort of plus plus five, just a little bit, just to just trying to replicate that sort of hand drawn sort of postery look. And so it's like a bit like a jigsaw puzzle, we're just trying to fit it in. What we do with the gaps we have at the end, we're then going to fill those in. So just um, to help balance the image. Oh, 
And then with this one, we want to sort of curve it up to there. Right, make it a bit smaller. So again, click on the T, select this, click on the T, arc. This one we're going to go the other way. So just give it minus 10. So it's really subtle. Don't use those too much. You just want to. So now we're position text and we're sort of happy with that. Uh, what we're going to do now is just add some little uh, elements, some lines, some swirls, and bits like that. So, still in this group, we're just going to add a, a new layer. Uh, select the uh, brush tool, and we want uh, to check out what we want a white brush. Let's see what size that is. A little bit small, so I want to try and balance it with what the size of the width of the text is, or in the um, weight of the text is. So let's try 15. And we're just on a we're just on a hard brush, one of the standard brushes you get in Photoshop. Yeah, maybe a little bit thicker. So you just want to put. I'm using a. A whack on tablet for this, which helps, but you can do it with the mouse. Um, it's just playing if you're doing lines, I normally do like three together, three sort of works well, three or five. And if you're having trouble, then just create new layers so in case you want to delete some of the bits, but it's just sort of filling in those gaps. some arrows
And there we go. And you can use that for some cover or, on, or magazine article or just posting to social media. It's just a really good way of using a hand-drawn font and making it look at it like it's been um, hand-drawn to the actual image. And there you have it, guys. Uh, leave any questions you have in the comments below or any other tutorials you'd like me to make, and I'll speak to you in the next video.